Yeah. Steve? Yeah. Yeah, hey, this is Danny, the guy that called up the other night about an interview. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, not much, man. I, ju I just uh, called last night and you guys weren't home. Yeah, me and Ricky were out promoting the show. Yeah, I see. It was like, is like any of the other guys there? Um, no. Um, we're all meeting at a party tonight, I know, but nobody else is here. Yeah, right, because I like to set up a time where I can talk to you and somebody else in the van, because I've only got a few questions I can ask you since you're the new guy. Right. <laughs> I've, I've, uh... well, I'm not new no more, man. I've been in the band since June 86. Yeah, I know. I, I went to that show, remember? You oh, gave, the you... farm shows. Yeah, that's right. You gave me the microphone. Metal Command! Oh, there you go. Yeah. I know. And well, you're gonna be, of course you're going to be there next week. Right, and I've got two guys sitting here with me. They're going to be there also. They've never seen... Uh, Exodus before, and it'd be like one of their first real thrash shows. I'm trying. Oh yeah, to... we're gonna destroy, man. We're like totally hyped. We've been. Um, do you uh, do you have uh, access to a car? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we've got a van. Okay. Well, tomorrow night we have rehearsal at um, our rehearsal studio in Emeryville, mm -hmm. and um, all of us will be there. So if you want to do an interview, you can come there if you want. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Uh, like, uh, what time? Well, we pr don't practice till late, like nine. Yeah. Yeah, at, 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 at night, nine at night? Yeah, we don't practice till late at night, eight, okay. nine at night. Yeah, okay, well, uh, maybe we'll we be practice, here. practice uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I know for positively sure. Yeah, okay. That's where it is. Okay, well, where's this place at? It's in Emeryville, Emeryville Warehouse Company. Emeryville Warehouse Company, like, got an address, like, where the hell's Emeryville? I'm okay. calling. It's between Berkeley and Oakland. Hmm. Did you ever go to Ruthie's Inn? Uh, no, no, I never had the pleasure of experiencing Ruthie's. Oh, that place like, God, you missed Ruthie's. You... I know. I know. <laughs> and we're on the second floor, and if you can't fucking hear us, then you don't need to do the interview. <laughs> you can hear us halfway down the fucking street, man. We are so loud. Great. <laughs> so just trace Exodus. You'll hear us. Yeah, okay. And um, call me and tell me which night you're coming, so uh, we'll be expecting you. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll, fi I'll figure it out with the guys, and uh, ho ho hopefully, hopefully we will... We'll, we'll be there, but if not, we could probably still try doing it over the phone. Okay, yeah. great, yeah. Um, well, that's the better chance to get everybody, because everybody will be there. Yeah, okay, I mean, we're coming from Santa Cruz. Oh, you guys are in Santa Cruz, huh? Yep. Watsonville, 14 miles away. Yeah, Watsonville, but we don't like to admit it. But <laughs> Oh, I know a guy who lives in Watsonville. Yeah. Danny? Um, what's his name? Yeah, me. <laughs> Paul Pate. Uh, Paul Nelson. Paul Nelson, sounds familiar. And his uh, friend, his name's uh, Greg Marcial, he runs a nursery out there hmm. in Watsonville. Hmm. Uh not that big of a place, is it? Uh, Watsonville, no, nah, it's, it's a small town. It belongs in Montana. No one down here is proud to be a Californian. Oh, really? No one down here is proud to be a Californian. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they, okay, they well, give me shit um, about yeah, my that's hair. what we'll be having, and if you can't, we'll just do a, um, I can give you, like, um, somebody else's phone number, like Gary's yeah. phone number, and then you could call me and then call him if you want to do it that way. Okay, okay, well, maybe I'll give you one interview question that I could give you right now, since I'm recording this, uh, okay, so, yeah, anyways, uh, when, when you, when you, uh, left Le Legacy... You know, it was a double shocker. Bailoff's out of Exodus, and uh, You Leave Legacy, who were probably the hottest unsigned band in San Francisco at the time. Right. Uh, uh, the, the, like, uh, Exodus are still on an independent label, and now they're testament. They're on a major label. Like, do you have any regrets? There's no regrets, because, um, you know, um, getting a major label isn't always better for you. Major labels want more out of you than independents do. And um, we're, get, we're receiving the money that a major would get would give to a band from combat we're the number one act on combat right now and yeah. they've put like well over a hundred grand into the band already which is talking serious money you know and um I'll, i just talked to the singer for testament today they're back from tour they've been on tour uh they've done 35 dates across america and um i guess they did okay you know they did real uh, did you know all right the album sold um anywhere from 20 to 26,000 I think in America yeah. which isn't really that good so I don't think that being on a major label it has its advantages and disadvantages of course yeah. and um, they're still they're really not on a major label they're on Megaforce which is an independent and their distribution is coming through Atlantic Records see so yeah. you know their, their money doesn't come from Atlantic Records you know like the published like the recording advances and the touring advances and stuff like that that's coming from Megaforce Records yeah. um, Atlantic is just distributing the album mm -hmm. and so like they've done this partnership with uh, Johnny Z which is their record owner yeah, record Johnny producer Z. <laughs> John Zazula he's done Anthrax uh, First Metallica yeah. Yeah, of course they, uh, Raven Merciful Fate yeah, you're talking to an old time thrasher I definitely know who Johnny Z is <laughs> yeah d definitely Johnny Z and um, it was it was nice, you know, to know that when my first band was going to go on to a major. But um, you know, when Exodus wanted me to join Exodus, you know, yeah. that was like 
come on. Yeah. I mean, testament to Exodus in America, yeah. let alone Europe. I mean, everywhere I've played with um, Exodus has been pretty much packed. You know, they know who we are all over the country. The testament, um, they're not really known that well, you know, because yeah, they just haven't played, you know. Yeah. Nobody just really knows who they are. But um, that may change in the future. They're going to do Europe with Anthrax, and that's going to be a positive thing for them. Yeah. It wasn't that, it wasn't that, it's not that much of a difference being on combat, you know. Yeah. Um, they put a lot of money into the band. Um, I don't know if you've seen Metal Rendezvous this month or the Kerrang! Mega Metal. And, no, but uh, I've, I've seen uh, the new Cream Metal Clothes with the big ad. Yeah, with the big ad. Well, see, all, every single magazine's got those ads in them. Cool. And that, like, you know, for combat wouldn't do that for any other band but Exodus. We had a meeting with the record president the day before yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, he flew into New York just to meet with us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we went to lunch, and we had a big meeting with him, and he was just talking about the different things that they're doing to advertise. And uh, he's just really going out of his way, more like on a major label status to, bring, to make Exodus, to make this album really successful. Mm -hmm. And the album is really going to be successful. It's really good. Yeah. It'll be out in the stores on October 7th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On on combat. I want on combat. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and just just one, uh, one more little thing. I I think I only came up with about two questions I could possibly ask you. Uh, how, how tough was it to uh, fill Paul Bailoff's shoes? Uh, well, did you feel any pressure? I mean, I I did it first because I didn't know how the fans were gonna react. You know, when I first joined, I was like, you know, Paul had made such a big um, name with himself with Exodus, and you know, a lot of people loved him. And, and there was a lot of people that hated him also. Not saying, you know, that Paul sucked or interrogatory. Mm -hmm. It was like, a, you know, a pretty well, you know, most, a lot of people loved him. The people who loved him loved him. The people who hated him just hated him. Yeah. And um, when I went in there, I knew, especially in front of the Bay Area, because that is Exodus' home, mm -hmm. that I had to impress um, the kids here. Mm -hmm. But after the first show, I felt really comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was more easier for me. Because we played in San Francisco, and then the very next show I did was in New York. So it was pretty, it was pretty, it, it, it was tough at first, but um, it ironed out. Everything ironed out for the better. Paul's band, yeah. Paul's got a yeah. band together that's really good. Yeah, and I know, I'm, I'm hoping to get an interview with him. And, uh, cause I got, good I, luck, Paul's I, hard to find, I know where he lives, but... Uh, I got this number at Frank's house. It wasn't that bad. Now I feel real comfortable, and I think that everybody's really happy with me now. I didn't have any trouble... Anywhere but in San Francisco at the first farm show, I got hit in the head with a full beer can. Oh, God. Like, and they screamed the, the first night at the very, like, the first three songs was, I got a couple of bay off, bay off. But, yeah, I heard but, about that. Yeah, a little bit. But by the end of the show, and then we played two nights the next night, the crowd was just blown because I just went out there, you know, fuck them, and just went out like, yeah, 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 and just did the song. So they've accepted me really well. Yeah. I haven't had anybody walk up to me and go, fuck, man, we like bay off better, you suck, man. I haven't had that yet, yeah. but... <laughs> I never know what people are thinking, you know. Yeah. Do you ever notice you and Bailoff have, uh, look a lot alike? Yeah, see, you know, I, I was, some people don't know the difference. I don't think it's kind of funny because I was doing an in store in uh, Pennsylvania. We did some uh, record signing, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not even on Bonded by Blood, and yeah. I, you know, kids were shoving in my face to sign, so I was signing them, and um, I told them that I was the new singer, yeah. and they were going, "What? You're not the singer on Bonded by Blood? You look just like the guy." And I was yeah. like, "Hey, you know, and you've all, got the legacy tattoo. That's the difference." Yeah, the legacy, but it's not the legacy tattoo, it's just the legacy scully. Yeah. I never put legacy on my arm, I doubt if I'll ever put Exodus on my arm either. Who knows, yeah. I won't be playing ACDC next year, you never know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yep. But, um, I'm kind of in a hurry, I was going to go, I'm, you know, I'm glad to answer your questions for yeah. you. Well, it's but, just um, those two, because the rest of them I think is better for the rest of the boys. Okay, yeah, answer. well, like I said, tomorrow night, um, Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday, if you can make it, we'll be there. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll call you up, I'll figure out with these guys here, maybe we'll be there, maybe, we, maybe we'll, we'll, we're going to try and make the effort, and uh, if not, uh, I guess I can talk to Gary or somebody on the phone. Yeah, okay, he's the best person to talk to is yeah. Gary. Okay, well, it's a pleasure talking to you, Steve, and hopefully okay. I'll see you this week, but okay, if not, then. definitely next Friday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.